It's nice when the kids grow up into something you can be proud of. And that's what happened with Dev Patel. Slumdog Millionaire got ripped. And he's ready to take on all odds in a new film that he directed called Monkey Man. Has a bit of a John Wick influence. They even reference John Wick in the film. But it also has enough unique stuff going on to give it its own flavor. Make a name for itself in the action space. Let's talk about it. This is going to be a spoiler free re Oh my god, a monkey actually just jumped through my window and he's got a banana pointed right at me. Hey, chill. Chill, what do you want? Okay, I read monkey sign language, which is the same as human sign language, coincidentally. He wants you to subscribe to the channel Adam Does Movies. Okay, monkey left. The monkey's gone. We should probably- Sheila, you want to close the window? Do something for a change? All right, anyway, well, let's talk about Monkey Man. As always with the main review, I'm gonna avoid spoilers, but it's inevitable that I'll mention something that happens in the film. It won't be consequential, but merely pointing out characters and some of the settings and some of the action scenes sometimes turns people off and they're like, hey, how dare you spoil this film, Adam? In which case I scratch my head like, Seriously, dude, why are you even watching this? I will say this, and it's gonna disappoint one or two people, but at no point in time in this film do we get a monkey slash man hybrid. The closest we get is Dev rocking a monkey mask like you see in the TV behind me. Because the character in the film, like pretty much everyone around him, is incredibly poor on the mean streets of India, and one of the easiest ways for him to make money is to don the mask, become a character, and go in the ring night after night getting his ass kicked for money. It's, it's not a great way to make a living, but he could do worse. He could be a movie critic on YouTube. <laughs> That's truly depressing. If you're looking for a balls-to-the-wall non-stop action vehicle, Monkey Man's not gonna be for you. It's a slower film with a majority of the action being backloaded. This movie takes a lot of time, arguably too much time, to get things lined up. This is a two-hour film. Could have trimmed off about 15, 20 min, short for minutes. Not really lost a step, in my opinion. There's a lot of flashbacks. There's a lot of trauma that our character is uh, going through. He doesn't have a name. He's a nobody that's made clear in this film. He's just known as the kid, I think, on IMDb. And this kid's pissed. He's hungry. He wants revenge because something terrible happened to his mom when he was younger. It's hard to ignore when you live in the slums of India and the place is basically a hellscape. And the dude that hurt you in the past is still very much in the limelight. He's part of the big cog that's running this whole thing into the ground. Unlike a John Wick, which is pretty surface level, guy loses wife, he tried to get out of the game, they killed the puppy, it was the last dying gift from the wife. So yeah, he goes on revenge. This one has a lot more depth to it. There's some spiritual stuff, there's social commentary, there's trans people in it. Dun dun dun! I don't care if you're gay, straight, trans, or otherwise, as long as you make a good story and an entertaining movie, I'm all for it. And this movie delivers in that sense. Like I said, it takes a while to get going, but I wasn't bored during this. I was invested in this character, his plight, I was excited to see him kind of have a Rocky-esque montage where he's training up, he's ready to take on all obstacles. Like I said, there's also the spiritual aspect that will come to fruition as this film plays out. There's just a lot here. The bottom line is the story worked for me, and it acts as a very cinematic brochure of to never step foot in India, according to this movie. It's, it's just absolute fire and brimstone. While I did enjoy this movie, and I think people are going to have a good time with it, I didn't, like, fall in love with it by any means. I have some problems with it. I have some big problems with it, mainly due to the way this thing is filmed. While it does look beautiful, it is very cinematic, great color grading, lighting is fantastic, there is a problem with the shaky cam. It's born identity levels at times. It's over that. It's born identity two at times. Just out of control. The camera's filming like a guy's shoe. It moves over here and it's filming a bird for some reason. I don't know what the hell's going on. The action's over there, bro. What are you filming? To throw a monkey wrench into things, not only is the camera out of control at times, like the guy's having a seizure, they also don't know how to use the fucking focus. This movie's blurry 5% of the time. Maybe, maybe more than that even. It loses the plot halfway through the movie. It felt like I was watching something else during some crazy chase scenes. Everything's out of focus. I know it's part of what they're going for, 
but it was hurting my eyes. Truly hurting my eyes. Not falsely. Genuinely. Not fakely. Accurately. I'm using a lot of pointless words right now. It's a shame to say that because the action is stellar. A lot of great choreography going on. It does very much have a John Wick feel to it. Punches are being thrown. <laughs> And then the guy kind of like stumbles backwards for a second. Another guy might smash a bottle into his head. He turns. Rapid punches some people. There's not a lot of gun foo in this. It's mostly hand-to-hand -hand fighting and some kicking occasionally. Throwing people through microwaves, hitting people with chairs, all that kind of stuff. The overall style, even the look and the approach outside of the shaky blurry shit reminded me of a game I played a while back called Sifu or Sifu S-I-F-U had a very similar aesthetic to that and just the vibe in general felt very reminiscent great game by the way it's it's not going to be for everyone but neither is Monkey Man so I guess it's an apt comparison if I ask myself Charlotte Oka plays in this as well our boy from District 9 and uh, uh Chappie I guess he's in crappy Chappie is he in Chappie I don't know if he's in that. He has a very minimal role in this, which is a shame. I really like this actor. It's a bummer seeing this guy crop up only to be playing like fifth string, 18th fiddle to the main character. I really like him. I want to see more of him on screen because he always owns it when he's there. Accompanying the action is a really good score. I dug the music in this movie arranges from the more orchestrative stuff to pop music I was not expecting, jumping in during some of the fight scenes. The movie's rated R for violence, some swearing, a tiny little bit of nudity, blinking you'll miss it, and some adult content. Really, it's taking us through the back alleys and seedy underbelly of what India has to offer. So there's a sex trade going on, there's drugs, rock and roll, music, alcohol, all the, all the stuff, all the gross stuff is there. I'm going to stop monkeying around now and just give it to you straight. Monkey Man's a good movie. Not a great movie for me. I can see it being great for others. But the things that kind of pull it back a little are those camera shots. And just the way that Dev chose to frame some of this stuff up didn't really hit home for me. But again, it's Taster's choice. At the end of the day, if you're looking for a fun action flick, this provides plenty of that. It's just going to take a little bit of time to get to those moments. Okay, let me know your thoughts on this movie if you saw it or if I excited you to go watch it now. Let me know. It's nice to have a unique film in theaters, even though it does borrow heavily from the action movies that have been coming out lately. Dev owns it here. He's a lot faster than Keanu as John Wick. He's doing a lot of movements, hopping around, kicking, punching. It's great to see. It really is. Let me know. Please like the video. And again, is Sheila, is the monkey back? Nope, gone. Still, I liked his idea. I like where his head's at. Subscribe to the channel. I post tons of movie reviews every single week here, along with rants and roasts and whatnot. And speaking of rants, I have a brand new second channel, Adam Does Rants, where I'm bitching up a storm about regular everyday observational things, like people just being on their phones too much and being kind of pricks in public terrible bathroom etiquette, things like that. Loose stuff that we all can agree with, I think. Love to have you there as well. Links are in the description of the video. Okay, that's all I got. Hopefully I see you next time. Take care.